all kinds of Amazon warehouse action. There's another one. Amazon has a huge distribution center here in Vegas, if you didn't know. I'm on the very like far northeast area near the Air Force Base. Just a bunch of like uh, warehouses and stuff like that. The place where we get our packaging, the bags for the brittle, and now the bags for the new candy, as well as the wrappers for the sparkly pops, all that stuff, we get at a place who has a big uh, distribution center here as well. I just go pick it up and save the money for shipping. And look, this place makes tiny houses right here, boxable. You can buy a prefab tiny home and they just deliver it to wherever you want it. I made a bunch of brittle earlier and Christina is currently making a bunch of sparkly pops. Because hopefully we need them. Let's roll with it. All right, everybody. Welcome to the very first sparkly sweets vlog. <laughs> we got some sparkly sweets action going. Welcome to the new channel. Welcome. Welcome. So we're out and about doing certain things that need to be done. We've been keeping our plans quiet because just generally in life I've learned you don't tell people your plans it's better to just do what you're going to do maybe some things you can say we're going to do this we want to do that or we're thinking about doing this but we're making kind of a big adjustment and so we didn't want to tell everyone exactly what we're trying to do because even people that aren't intending to there's just too many ways for people to screw your plans up yeah, and that's why it's better just to keep them to ourselves till we're 100% for sure we're going to do what we're going to say we're going to do. Right, and we're not we're not uh, totally in the door of what we're trying to do yet. Uh, is, is that snow on Mount Charleston? Way over there on the very tip? I think it up is. Up there, yep, I think so. A lot of people have tried to order online, and we're not shipping candy currently. But what we are doing is local delivery... And the big thing that we're working on at the moment is farmer's markets. So we're actually working on getting into some farmer's markets. So a lot of them all around town, not just one farmer's market. We're looking at a lot of them. The last couple of months, we've been keeping quiet because we've been working on uh, certain licensing and different things that we needed to get. And there are certain just business things that we were trying to do in a certain way that we want it done. And so sometimes when you're trying to do things, there's roadblocks. It's like a constant speed bump, not yeah. a roadblock, a speed bump. It's speed bump after speed bump. And then I was sick twice yeah. since we moved and she was sick once. And so we just had a bit of a slowdown and then there's the holidays, Christmas, we had to go home visit for Christmas or whatever. So now we're back and we are 100% ready to go. We're going to be live streaming, making the candy and all the stuff. Yeah, this new channel is all going to be about sparkly sweets and yeah, just us making candy and going to farmer's markets and just trying to build something new. Right. Delicious. <laughs> A little cafe something something.
can't make buttery cashew brittle without organic cashews. This, I'm almost positive. I'm gonna document this. 50 pounds of sugar, C and H sugar, is $38.99 at the regular Costco. I am almost positive it's $37.99 at the business center. Have to come to Costco too often. Especially with the amount of brittle we're about to start selling. Yeah. That's eight pounds of butter. Why would we buy eight pounds of butter? Make it an even 10. You're crazy. Right, sparkly peeps we have uh, some business to do in the Costco business center <laughs> what just got a shop gonna buy some sugar gonna look for a couple of other items that we need they have a lot of different items here at the Costco business center I think there are only seven Costco business centers in the country we happen to have one here in Vegas they uh, it's a little more geared to business um, you can have delivery like if you have a coffee shop or uh, a little cafe or something things like you know paper towels uh, to go boxes giant buckets of pickles all that kind of stuff it's not a dollar cheaper it's a dollar 40 cheaper here what you trying to do Costco see the business center most of their products a lot of their products are intended for resale there's no pizza or hot dogs to eat or anything like that. This is not a fun place to shop. It's a place to buy shit like you can sell in your store or your bar or whatever, right? So you buy like 18 Heath bars or something like that. That sounds, that sounds good. Strawberries and cream, white chocolate macadamia. By the way, it's the same membership. If you have a Costco membership, you can come to the business center. No difference at all, except for what they sell and what the atmosphere is like. I know. There's gonna come a day when we get um, custom bags, I'm sure. But for, for just starting out, we gotta have something. That's a lot of pickles. <laughs> wow, look at that soy sauce. And a lot of soy sauce. Five gallons. All right, we did our business. It looks like somebody's gotta do some more business. <clears throat> We're just getting prepared for the farmer's markets. Now we're gonna go to one of the farmer's markets that we wanna attend. We've never been there before. We got our sample cups. Yeah, but the weird thing is, is they had Death Stars. If you don't know Costco, if a price tag on the rack has an asterisk, it means there's no plans to reorder that item. We really wanted one ounce cups, but they're completely out of those. And even though these have Death Stars, we only got 1,250 cups and lids because we're going to try to find one ounce portion cups. I think we can get them on Amazon for ch even cheaper than here, but I'm not really sure. So I don't know, I guess just follow us along for the journey. So we're going to go check out this new farmer's market and see how it is. Yeah.